It may have taken a couple of days, but Team USA has finally earned gold in this year's Winter Games. For a look at what's happening in Beijing today, here's our China 2022 correspondent, Caitlin Johnson. Caitlin, good morning. Good morning, Caroline. It's day five for the Olympians competing in China. But before we jump into our leaderboard and see where Team USA stands, let's check in with Matt Barnes. He's in Beijing with a look at today's top headlines. Happy Wednesday from Beijing, where there is plenty of drama on the slopes and off the ice. We start with the USA's first gold medal, coming from five-time Olympian Lindsay Jacob Ellis in the women's snowboard cross. It's her first career gold and second overall medal. Team USA stars Chloe Kim and Sean White were in action in snowboard halfpipe qualifying. It was easy for Kim, who finished with the top score after a great first run. It was a bit hairy for White, though, who needed to land his second run to qualify after falling on his first. White will be joined in the halfpipe final by two other Americans. The news not as good for Michaela Schifrin, who for the second time in these games did not finish a race, this time in the slalom. She is scheduled to compete in three more events. The news from figure skating where the IOC spokesman said there is a legal issue that is holding up the official medal ceremony for the team event. News reports suggest it's an issue with the Russian team, which finished in gold medal position. And coming up in primetime, Nathan Chen looks to finish off his gold medal destiny with the men's free skate. That's all from a wild Wednesday reporting from Beijing. I'm Matt Barnes. For the third day in a row, the Russian Olympic Committee is still holding one tight to that first place spot. They have two gold medals, three silver and five bronze medals. Coming in at that second place this morning is Norway with four gold medals, one sil silver medal and four bronze medals. In those third, fourth and fifth spots, we have Austria, Sweden and the Netherlands. Yesterday, Team USA jumped from 11th place to 7th, gaining five medals. One of those five is their first gold medal of the 2022 Games. Now it's time to take a closer look at what events and what medal ceremonies Olympians will be participating in today. Curling and hockey are the only events happening today in Beijing. Just like yesterday, there are medal ceremonies happening all day long in alpine skiing, freestyle skiing, luge, Nordic combined, short track and snowboarding. For more China 2022 coverage or stories from this year's games, visit our website klfy.com and click on the China 2022 tab. In studio, I'm Caitlin Johnson. KLFY News 10.